Welcome to Bing.Africa, where we tell stories to inform, inspire, and involve you in the fight against NCDs. Stories are powerful. Stories give hope. So what is your story? I am Talibi Moses. I am the Legal Compliance Officer for Uganda National Health Consumers Organization. We are a not-for-profit organization in Uganda, which was founded in 1999. And its duty is to ensure that government, through the rights-based approach, responds to health concerns of consumers and users of the health sector. We always place the patient at the center of care because we know for a fact if the consumer or the patient in this case is aware, they are empowered and that of course mitigates on the harm they find themselves accosted with. We, for that matter, I am taking tea because tea has been known to help in uh, detoxication, in other words, helping to cleanse uh, the organs and that of course is a plus in the fight against non-communicable diseases. So I would encourage everybody to take it as a personal lifestyle, to take tea, as opposed to consuming alcohol, because alcohol is known to affect the liver, and that, of course, fails the liver in playing its role, and also ejecting other toxins that we consume. A case in point is um, the fight against food lifestyle, especially the fast food industry because um, now what is threatening us because of food scarcity especially of our local food is as a result of us consuming products which are known for instance called trans fatty acids or are laced with a lot of oils and all these affect the nervous system and the nervous system of course is affected by the heart failing to function because too much oils, too much fats clog the nervous system and blood of course doesn't flow and that creates heart failure and heart failure is known to kill lots of uh, Ugandans, East Africans and other human beings globally. We know that funding for non-communicable diseases is too expensive even for countries and even for global players and that calls for interventions such as national health insurance systems which are very rare in the African continent and Uganda for that matter. So it is important that government adopts legal approaches, for instance, elimination of trans fatty acids in our food systems that can be best responded through through a legal framework which says hydrogenation processes in the oil processing should be eliminated because they are known to have acids and of course we know Ugandans or even parents who have failed to communicate to their children because wherever children go they are exposed to these products and they is with the ease consume them so it is important that display of such a foods is banned use of certain old processes like hydrogenation in the processing of oil is banned processing food and mixing it with them um, with the margarine which is known to cause or accelerate cardiovascular diseases should be eliminated. Also food consumption of foods that have a lot of salt, like these snacks that we allow our children to have, should also be regulated. The sugary products should equally be regulated because they are responsible for um, diabetes, obesity, and of course these become very expensive. So it's important that government adopts healthy approaches of course, also, this does not mean that people should not take in lifestyles like walking, which, of course, can be best responded through a policy approach of expanding these road walkways. So city planners should create walkways. Children parks should be made functional so that children's right to play can also be envisaged or seen to work. It is also important that all these places which are frequented by children or adults and call them public places, are not exposed to tobacco because tobacco is also known to affect or clog all organs of the body and ultimately cause death. So 
legal approaches, policy approaches, budget responses should be targeted towards influencing and mitigating the scourge of non-communicable diseases. The prevalence of non-communicable diseases is on an increase because we have failed to take these low-hanging fruits. For instance, if government took serious its mandate to impose taxes and make these products become very expensive, and that their consumption at least is reduced, we will mitigate on consumption, we will reduce on demand, we will reduce on availability. And for those that are high-end, that have already become addicted and they cannot do without them, that means they will pay and then government will have money saved in the event they ever fell sick, they will find at least the health systems are functional. I am taking tea and this, please, let's take tea. Kericho tea, let's take chai because it's good for our health. Thank you.